Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys with me to Hongdae so that we can explore some summer Hongdae fashion. Hongdae is famous for their street fashion. It's basically all hip streetwear style. That's why I'm kind of just like this. I'll show you guys my full outfit later. But one thing you'll notice when you live in Korea is that every city has different styles of fashion. The different areas really define what type of fashion you wear. So today I wanted to start off by taking you guys with me to Hongdae so that you can see what type of fashion is trending there this summer. I'll see you guys in Hongdae. My friend Jasmine lives around here, so I'm gonna wait for her to come join me while I shop. And while I wait for her, I'm thinking of doing a photo booth by myself. I've never done one by myself before, and there's tons of photo booths in Hongdae, so you guys should definitely check it out when you are here. I don't usually cry at all, but wow, is it always close, ranging from a movie scene. Made of people in my dreams The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far But in case I go This is my first time taking a photo booth photo by myself I always go with friends so Interesting. I'm gonna put this one up on the wall. No need to be stressed, gotta take it home, get there. I really miss the shit. This is like the same shirt I got at Play Grand with Grace. These are the colors I should be wearing according to my pastel personal color. But I always end up buying like neutrals. This is literally 
just fried crab. Good, right? Mm -hmm. ASMR. <laughs> I'm feeling anxious, baby, I don't want to know I'm feeling anxious, baby, I don't want to know But I got sorry now, my baby, I don't want to know Our dreams are not where it goes I don't know where it goes I still don't want to know I'm feeling anxious I'm feeling anxious lately, I don't know. Be gonna eat the wago, baby, think I gotta go. Now, I need to know my I can get shit or take it slow. Oh, I'm not a dick to be honest, so yeah, and I'll leave you. It's you. Never more is so good, no, it won't. I'll travel to the moon. The upper is so good. Should I get white or this color? I mean, I like neutrals because they match it everything. It's the white version. Oh, that one? Yeah, like I just saw what three stores with it, yeah. You bought it? Yeah, I bought it, but then like... I was thinking of wearing it with like pants, see, but... Like, the new trend. <laughs> yeah. But I think that dress looks cute with it, too. Yeah. Isn't this bag so cute? <laughs> Okay, I'm home now. I wanted to show you guys the outfit that I bought in Hongdae yesterday. So I'm going to be doing a little try-on haul. But before we get started, I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn new skills through the thousands of creative classes offered on their site. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been putting in lots of effort in my color grading and thumbnails these days. And this is all thanks to Skillshare. I've always wanted to learn how to color grade and I've tried learning it by myself by watching short YouTube videos and things like that but honestly I just found it too complex to learn on my own and I was close to giving up but the class I'm taking on Skillshare really breaks it down for beginners and shows you the step-by-step -step workflow on how color grading works and it really made it easy for me to learn at my own pace so I'm so grateful for Skillshare because I got to learn how to color grade and design my thumbnails on Canva so I highly recommend you guys to check out Skillshare and start exploring today and lucky for you guys the first thousand people to sign up using the link in my description box will be able to get one month free so use this trial as an opportunity to learn as many creative things as you can now let's go try on the clothes I bought yesterday <laughs> here's all the stuff I bought yesterday and I will show you guys the total price 
after I calculated it over here. I just bought pieces that I thought were cute and not full outfits, so I will have to wear other things to match the stuff I bought. So this is the first outfit that I bought. I just bought this simple black t-shirt. I thought it looked like really hip, <laughs> very home like. Um, and yeah, I, I really like the white like linings over here and that's why I bought it. And these pants I already had. So this is the first outfit. This is outfit number two. I think off the shoulder style is like really trending in Korea as well. This kind of knitwear. This is outfit number three. I really love this top, you guys. This is a color that I've never really worn before, but I want to wear it because normally I would go for black or white, and they did have a black or white version of this, but on the mannequin, this color looked really pretty, and also, uh, you guys know I did my personal color test and if you guys haven't watched it, watch it. And they recommended that I wear colors like this, like pastel colors. So I just, I'm branching out and I bought it. But it looks really nice and I think it complements my skin tone as well. So yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> this is outfit number four. This is the trending like blue cardigan top, especially this chain is very, very trending these days in Korea. But I've seen this color, like this exact cardigan everywhere in Hyundai while shopping yesterday. But I'm so happy because I think I got, I bought it at the cheapest place. But yeah, I really love this color. This is also a color that I would normally like not wear like this bright vibrant blue but i think it really matches this summer and i really love it it's really cute okay the next outfit i'm gonna just show you guys and not wear it because i'm too hot it's like a knit shirt and it was on sale um and it came with a belt but i didn't like the belt it was like really cheap quality so i asked them to just throw it away but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this in the fall. It's so cute, it's like a shirt dress. Yeah, it's too hot for me to wear right now. I'm already sweating, so I'll just show it like this. Outfit number five. So those are all the outfits I bought. Hongdae has lots of hip like clothes. I absolutely love Hongdae to go shopping. Um, the quality, it really depends on the store. Some of them are really good quality, but some of them are very cheap. So you really have to be careful when shopping. But if you just like trendy clothes that are affordable, then Hong is the place to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about fashion in other cities, areas of Seoul, then please let me know in the comments and I'll try to explore other parts of Seoul for you guys and go shopping in those areas and figure out the trends there. But yeah, I hope you guys really saw what fashion is trending in Korea these days and enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. It's true